Okay, Arman. Can we start the experiment now? Yes. In a large beaker, we have filled the water. Now, we have to put the raisins. Okay. Only, only four we have to put. Okay. Okay. We have put four. Ah, four raisins you have put. Ah. Then put the water. Okay. That's enough. Ah. When you have put, then put the baking soda. Once you have put the baking soda, hmm. Once you put the baking soda, then put the vinegar. Okay. See the acetic acid mixes with baking soda hmm. and produces carbon dioxide gas of bubbles. Okay. Put little more. Then see the, now the raisins are floating and coming up. Oh, fantastic. So this is what dancing resins is. Mm. So what is happening here? Please explain. The carbon dioxide uh, is a very powerful that it makes the resins go up. Mm. Then they go, keep on going. Uh, after that, the bub then the bubbles attach to the resins. See the bubbles attach to the resins. Mm -hmm. but then, uh, then only they go up. After if they if they pop out, the raisins become less denser and fall back to the bottom. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. So, um, where did you learn this experiment, Arman? I learned this on my school. Oh, fantastic! That's great. So, is there anything that you want to tell your audience um, uh, that they have to be careful with while doing this experiment? No. Yes, you have to because uh, when you are doing this experiment, you have to do this experiment in the supervision of your elders, mm. right? You don't have to do this experiment alone. You always make sure that somebody elder is with you when you are doing this experiment, mm. right? Now you want to tell about how does it go down? So the raisins go up and up, but uh, it takes a lot of time to go back at the bottom. Ah, how, why does that happen? It happens because the bubbles are attached and the carbon dioxide is going, going and the bubbles going where? up. Okay. And the bubbles are also going up these small, small, tiny bubbles. Mm -hmm. And then the acetic acid mixes with baking soda and produces carbon dioxide gas of bubbles. Then the bubbles go down and attach themselves to the raisins. Mm. No, Arman, the bubbles, because bubbles attach, mm. there is, there is uh, you know, on the skin of the resins, mm. reaction happens and carbon dioxide is formed, right? Mm. So those bubbles are formed, uh, attach themselves to the resin and because of that, uh, the density of the resin becomes lesser mm. and it rises. So once it goes on the top, it releases those bubbles, right? and its density again increases. So it falls back into the base of the glass. It falls back to the bottom. Right. Is there anything else you want to share? Then after that, when they fall back to the bottom, the uh, CO2 gas is released into the air uh, uh, and the bu bu bubbles pop out. Fantastic. Great. That's it? Okay. Thanks a lot, Arman. That was a great experiment.